What's up everybody? I'm back at it with another video. I know it's been a long time and we're going to talk about why your golf cart won't move or it makes sound like like you can have it in Ford and it's basically doing neutral stuff like you can hear the motor running and running but it's not going nowhere even if you have it in Ford or reverse and I'm going to teach y'all how to solve this. I looked up a lot of videos on YouTube and nobody really had anything so I'm going to explain to y'all how to fix it. I'm gonna explain it to you on a gas one, and I'm also gonna explain to y'all on an electric one what could be your problem. All right, so electric one is very simple. Uh, you could do this two ways. You, you can get a battery tester right here. And if you do not have one of these battery testers, it's okay. You don't really, you can do it without a battery tester. It's better if you do. It's basically, if you have an electric golf cart and it doesn't move, but not making sound, you basically just wanna check all your connections. So all your batteries, you take the red one to the positive, you take black one to the negative, obviously. And you check them all. All right, and then finally your meter's gonna pop up, one's bad, okay? So let's say, oh, I test this one and this one's bad. Then that means this one's probably corroded. So don't freak out. All you do is take your cable off, clean it off, and then once you got it all cleaned off with corrosion spray or whatever you wanna use, then try it again. If it don't work again, then you're probably gonna have to buy another battery, okay? But now it could also be wires too. So check all your wires, check kinks, bent, any cracks or holes in your wires or you know any rips, anything like that. You need to have good positive connection or it will not go. Uh, for the most part, it, your wires are usually gonna be down here if it don't run. Or it could really be everywhere. You just want to look down here, make sure, okay, this is on there good. This is on there snug. That's on there snug and tight. These that run to the back, make sure them are good. And I guarantee you if your golf cart is not moving, one of your wires are ripped. And that's basically really all you really need to do. Or if all your wires are good and secure and it's still not moving, you know, maybe... It's as simple as, oh, I left it in tow mode and I didn't think about flipping it back. Just simple things like that. Or if it don't work, take a battery tester, check your batteries, and then the one that don't pop up with the numbers, that's the one you need to replace. All right, so these are 12 volts. You'll put the thing on 12 volt. There'll be a meter that lights up. Your meter should be going past 12. Everything on here says 12. If your meter is going past 12, your battery is good. If it's less, then ah, uh, it should still work. That just means your battery's getting weaker as the time goes by, but it should still work. Anyways, that's basically all you need to know with the electric golf cart. It's kind of simple. The gas one's gonna be a little more complicated. The gas one's gonna be a little more complicated. Let me get to that. Sorry, I couldn't find a flashlight, so I got this old ass lantern, but it's okay. Gas ones, God, there's so many things that could be doing it. Let's start off with the sound. All right. If your thing says forward right here, if your thing says forward right here, but it's not going forward, then it could be your ignition. So your ignition is right here. So you'll pop this, you'll pop this thing off, and you'll see wires as the ignition. Okay? Now, what I like to do before you even mess with that, is check your fuses also. It could be as simple as fuse. That's like this one. This golf cart wouldn't do that. Uh, there's only one fuse that this golf cart really needs. And it'll be right there. And basically what you do is your fuse box will be sitting right here. You take the box apart. And you want to pop your fuse out. Okay. And how you check to see if your fuse is good or not. Just get to a light or something. And you can see the metal piece right in the center. That metal piece right in the center. As long as it's not broke or anything cracked inside the fuse, your fuse is good. It's not your fuse. Okay, for the most part, it will be your fuse. Let me turn this key off just in case. Just in case, because I hate to pop a fuse. Oh, also, yeah, make sure your key's turned off if you're gonna basically mess with this at all. I should've already had my key turned off. Because these fuckers will shock you. This battery is pretty powerful and don't feel too good. Anyways, if it's not that, also check right here. This is what runs 
this this is what sensors okay it's in forward or it's in neutral blah 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 now this yellow thing if your yellow thing is sitting at the top that's the reason why it's not running because that indicates that it's in tow mode and that's basically just neutral for a golf cart so it could be as simple as you just you just need to turn it back down and you're good to go now with these you just clean your connections off and make sure they're on tight and it could also it could also be you know, there's a lot of reasons for a gas golf cart. A gas golf cart's got a lot of reasons. It could also be your belt. It could also be your belt and your clutch. Check your belt and check your clutch. So if if it is running but it's not moving, even if it says forward and all your belts are turning, watch your clutch. Your clutch should be right here. This uh this metal bracket right here. If this metal bracket is not moving in and out, in and out and you don't see any of this moving back and forth, back and forth, that means your clutch isn't picking up what you're trying to do, and therefore is sitting there in one position. And if it's that, that means you need to replace your clutch. Most parts, most golf carts that I have worked on that people have gave to me to work on, most part is their clutch. Your clutch usually just goes out. It's normally not these wires, but hey, try it. You might get lucky. You might not have to replace a whole clutch. But anyways, that's about it on the gas golf carts. If it don't run, it just makes noises. Um, if your golf cart don't make no noise at all, even if it's gas, and don't make zip, just no noise at all, I would go to your battery and make sure your battery connections are on good. Or hell, even throw a battery charger on your uh, battery. If you throw a charger on your battery, then you know, hey, my battery's going bad. But if you charge your battery or you put a new battery and the same thing happens again, happens again once you have it running and then it just stops working, it's your generator. So basically you need to fix your generator in your golf cart because your generator is bad. And there's no point you spend $120 every week because your battery is going bad. But for the most part, guys, on gas golf carts, that's about it. That's about the only thing that's really going to be stopping you. Um, now, I had, now, I have had some people, so I'm going to explain this. I thought people were smarter than this, but it's okay. Understandable. This switch right here, this is your gas switch. If you flip this like that, your gas is turned off. Okay, if your gas is turned off and it's just sitting there going, no, 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 no. That means your gas is turned off, you're flooding it, and you're going to have a whole tube of gas right here. See how this is gold? All that's gas is sitting there because this tube is closed, and this thing is ready for when I press the pedal. This gas goes in there, and then through here, and then out the muffler. You get, you get how it, that runs. But anyways, for the most part... I'll just check all that. I mean, you could check this, but I don't think it's that. Could be. You never know. You never know with machinery. But anyways, I hope I can help y'all out. I hope y'all can figure out what's wrong with your golf cart. Um, before I get this video off, one more thing, because I remember a long, I remember a long time ago, this happened with my golf carts where it would just sit there and idle and idle and idle and idle, but it wouldn't go. Even if you pulled the choke, it wouldn't go just sitting there idle, idle, idle. Pop this cap. Spark plug right there. You need to change your spark plug. Simple as that. If it, I'm going to go ahead and tell you all this right now. If it's just sitting there idling, 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 and not moving, it is your spark plug. 100%. Nothing else. Trust me. It is your spark plug. If it's just sitting there going, whoa, 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 not moving, even if you're pressing choke, spark plug. Literally, that, it's that simple. You just got to replace the spark plug. Well, that's about it. That's about all I can really give y'all. I hope this video helps you out. And yeah, hope y'all have a good day.